Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another Abacus tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to um, analyze the ball impacts, uh, which considering uh, two speed, uh, one is 20 meter per second and the second is 10 meter per second. Now the problem is like uh, considering the clash between two object or two movable elements. Uh, we have a plate, uh, the plate size is 10 by 10 uh, with a thickness of 5 uh, centimeters and the ball is a steel ball and it has a diameter of 4 meter. Now uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we want to uh, uh, keep two scenarios one and uh, this object is con uh, considering be uh, uh, actually static and this one be movable or uh, dynamic. Uh, then when the ball hit the plate and we want to determine how much energy is created by this impact to the structure in terms of uh, strain energy and also uh, uh, kinetic energy and overall energy then we will compare and if we, uh, we increase the speed to 20 how much the energy will increase if we reduce the same scenario will be applied here. The material we're considering in this plate should be uh, uh, just a, a plastic elastic material with a fine 100 megapascal yield and uh, this is the uh, elastic modulus and portion ratio will be 0 0.3 and the density is this one. And uh, movable object or dynamic object should be just elastic element. We're not considering the deformation of this element. Now we go jump to the abacus. In the abacus, we want to model this. I have already modeled this one, but I'm gonna create a new one. Just new one. Save it, new one. And creating a part. And the part can be shell elements, and even you can use solid elements as well. The shell element is quite fast for the. Uh, analysis process. I'm going to call plate considering the four member shell and planar. The unit we're using is uh, meter pascal newton and we take a plate here yeah, considering zero zero and then uh, 10 by 10. And now you can see here is the plate. I want to dimension again. This is 10 and 10. Next, we're going to uh, model the ball. Ball. Uh, the ball can be solid and using revolution. Now, I want to use this one of these arc and creating arc called uh, center and two endpoint. Center is zero zero, zero zero, and uh, the diameter is four meters. So then the radius will be uh, two meters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give zero in the x, the y will be two, first point be that place, and the second is going to be zero minus two. And then I take a line and close this arc. Now I'm gonna rotate. Uh, Okay, and then rotate by 360. Now our ball is created. In case if I leave the ball like this, so the mesh will be a problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, use this uh, command create dot plan and using uh, one y x this one and a zero zero, and again using y z zero zero, and I'm gonna going to ah uh, I'm gonna do one more thing and in the middle of z x zx zero zero so i'm gonna part do partition because uh, to create uh, an, a, a structure at mesh for this you know, selecting the one of them and selecting all again and create all this command selecting this now the partition is created we go to the material we're defining the material the first one is called uh, still plate, still plate, 
and density is 785 uh, modulus of elastic is uh, 200 E9 which is the giga not minus positive and Poisson ratio is 0 0.3 the plastic 500 500 e positive 6 and 0 now the second material is elastic material for ball and take a copy of this model copy is called still elastic and doing a edit removing the plastic part and just considering this one okay now sometimes instead of creating such element you also can uh, consider um, a rigid object and add or assign some masses but when we give uh, creating the real or practical element so then you have to give the density then the program will create the mass for you so when what mass is moving and it will create some inner inertia now we want to add materials to the elements and we're to using ball so the ball is solid the material is elastic and the second is uh, plate it is shell element we use shell and we're giving the thickness 0 0.05 and the material is plastic now we're going to assign select all select ball and the second element is plate assign plate to the plate and this one we finished we go to the assembly and we want to uh, bring the plate first the plate yes plate here and we can go to 3d and we want to bring it the ball okay and now we are here uh, so we want to um, make uh, something some movement and bring the ball to the center of this one and I'm gonna move this one selecting the ball and you can see that point is zero zero so I want to bring it five meters in this direction and five in the y direction and moving putting a little in the y direction this side so taking zero zero and then five meter in the x five meter in the y and five meter exactly in the z direction so you can see here the plate is in the center like this so the assembly is also finished we go to the step uh, we want to uh, create a step uh, we called uh, impact analysis and considering a dynamic explicit here is the main part which we considering one second so the time period should be consistent for between two scenario which we applying 20 and 10 meter per second velocity so you can consider 0 0.1 second or you can consider one so one is okay um, at least 0 0.5 in both analysis now uh, we want to uh, change this the output we increasing the interval to this uh, be 200 which give us uh, a little smooth curve and the same for the output is the same we taking some energies and we have come to the interaction in interaction we must define interaction between the plate and with between the ball so that means after the the, the, the ball is moved so there will be a contact between these two elements so we want to create a contact that's called automatic cont contact or general contact explicit and here you can considering all with self and in the contact you must define some properties um, between two elements you can uh, consider some some uh, some fraction in case some fraction you can consider or um, you can just take it as a normal behavior we want to add some uh, fraction it's going to be 0 0.2 and it's okay and we created this one it's done we go to the root we assume this plate is uh, uh, restrained or static so then we have to create a boundary condition you can give it a fixed all the edges 
uh, press the shift and then you can select multi edges and now we're gonna using in caster and the second is we want to apply the velocity to this element and comes to the impact and we're gonna call it velocity so velocity is here and we want to select the object and you can orient it the z direction in u, u, u3 so other can be zero and then the v should be minus 20 in negative direction that side now you can see here this is applied to the b to the ball this is the first scenario we want to go to the mesh and the mesh we do meshing um, for the plate uh, to avoid some uh, awkward uh, deformation you must give a, uh, a nice mesh this is going to be 0 0.5 it's too much we're going to, going to be 1 yeah we're going to mesh it yeah, this is a fine mesh and for the ball it's elastic it doesn't matter you can give two so this is the mesh. now we come back here and there is no problem with the mesh now we create job and we call job one which is called high velocity you can give 20 and now we want to submit the job And we using monitoring and see if there is any error. Now the it's running, and the explicit package completed successfully. There is no error, and we want to wait to analyze the analysis completed. So uh, now this is the first. We're gonna back to here to the uh, loading. In this time, we come to the. Uh, velocity we're gonna edit this one using 10 10 and we go back to the job everything is the same we we want to call law velocity impact or 10 now we want to submit both so when you submit two job it will take a little uh, longer to complete analysis so both is standing, so there is no error. We can again go to the um, monitoring the first one, and you can see the first one is uh, running and it's quite stable. And the time period is 0 0.05, and there are some warning. It's okay. Now we can wait until the analysis completed. Uh, now uh, one of the analysis completed uh, with low velocity. The second is. Uh, because the velocity is uh, high and uh, the distance is uh, the same and uh, the, the ball actually already hit the, the plate and now uh, it required to take more time because the deformation in this part is quite large and sometimes it does not converge uh, the analysis so uh, it, it takes uh, more uh, attempt and also more iteration so what I'm going to do is just in a monitoring here it's 285 and uh, uh, and the, the the difference between this total time is quite least so I'm gonna stop it because the result can be evaluated based in this time uh, so I'm gonna stop it and uh, now done and we wanna go to the result and this is the result uh, from uh, high velocity and we were just going to animate So you can see the response. Now we're going to create one more windows, and using this method, and let's see this was mis one mistress from the first twenty, and I'm going to come this one, and going to the job, and uh, open the results from ten meter per, uh, per second, square second, second now, and here is the response from. Uh, 10 and 20. Now I want to uh, join together and do one animation. You can see 
the speed is fast speed is slow it already hit the, the plate and this one is slowly yeah you can see that the formation is totally different the shape of the formation if I stop exactly in this part you can see the deformation how the deformation is created uh, this area when it's uh, slow uh, this area damages quite large and this area is damages least when it's uh, it fast because all the damage will be concentrated in this area you can see some crack is appeared it means that damage is like this and the damage when it's slow is uniform and distributed all if I go to again animate yeah you can see this area is quite large but when when it reached to this one you can see here it's slow it's not reached yet yeah it's going to be uniform entire plate now the second indicator how the velocity impact is uh, can be evaluated is the energy created by the uh, crashing or impact so I'm going to delete these two already created I'm going to create uh, UDP and we have both models so when I have both models so that we can create both elements here you can compare the strain energy kinetic energy or total energy so let's uh, first compare the strain energy or kinetic energy this kinetic energy is a uh, good indicator in a plot and you can see two curves created one is from 50 from the low impact uh, loading and this is from the high velocity loading now you can see the impact is the energy is 75 and this is 30.8 so if you think the difference is quite uh, huge almost uh, five times if you times five is almost 75 and this is the board graph so this is two indicator and we also uh, can uh, evaluate based on the uh, total energy we can see here a total energy of the output here is and you can see the total energy here is uh, here is large and here is here is small here is large you can say e9 e6 so it's quite large so this is one of the uh, best indicator how the velocity impact the uh, damage and also um, the deformation on the practical building and also uh, some mechanical device such as car such as this uh, things uh, now even even you comes to the uh, uh, such as the rotation and also displacement and you can see uh, it's 0 0.8 and it's 1.1 so quite large so the magnitude is quite large the same things in the displacement and also in other uh, output or uh, such as the uh, uh, plastic equivalent strain also the stress also you can consider that uh, stress is uh, this is also because the material is same so we cannot uh, go for that just it will keep in the elastic but uh, when the element is it in the first step when it so the plastic strain will be and the uh, strain will be high here and this will be least in exactly when the ball hit the, the plate and other thing is the plastic strain and you can see here is the magnitude is 0 0.2 and it's 0 0.9 and active yield is also you can see here is quite large and it's small and this is all the indicator this is this is acceleration actually so this is the indicator that, that the velocity uh, can impact the, the two objects uh, deformation or uh, two elements uh, so this is the end of the tutorial if you have any question uh, please put in the comment and i'll find time to answer you see you next time